Nobody better see us, otherwise I'd have to kill them. Even if they do, they'll probably be drunk. Now stop worrying and concentrate, Maxwell. We have a mission to accomplish. I hate this country already, Samantha. Agents 34 and 69, we don't have much time, so I'll get straight to the point. A well-funded terrorist organization called the Quadruple Twins have stolen a suitcase nuke from Fort Knox, where we store experimental weapons for classified reasons. The suitcase has a tracking device, which we track to a basement bar in the UK. However, we would look weak if we asked another government for assistance. So we need you to go and find the terrorists, kill them, and bring the suitcase back. Any questions? How are we going to get into the UK? It's by the sea, so stealth submarine. Can we bring weapons, sir? No. We can't afford for the police to find weapons. We're doing a whole operation. Instead, just make it look like a bar fight. OK, off you go. This place is nice. I feel like I could live here. You do? It reminds me of growing up near the beach and how nice it was. Before the sewage leak, the water became poison and my family were forced to move. I later found out it was caused by anti-eco-terrorists. So I joined the CIA to make sure nobody else would have to experience that. I never got the chance to go to the beach growing up. I grew up in the city and my parents were workaholics for environmental activists. They were never around. One day they were at work and anti-eco-terrorists blew up the activists, killing my parents. I joined the CIA to make sure no one else would have to go through that really traumatic experience. You really deserve some quiet time. We can discuss that once the mission's over. Besides, we're almost at the disco bar. I'll go in and start a bar fight. Since you're as quiet as a mouse, you sneak him around the back. Okay, uh, we'll meet at the basement door. Should be easy to find. Good plan. Ugh. Why do you come here to this disco bar? There's almost nobody here who wants to play ping pong with me. I know, right? I mean, I mean, nobody wants to play pool with me either. Hey, who the hell is that behind you? I work for the CIA. You're under arrest for theft. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you myself. Yeah, go kick his ass! Ah! You killed my brother! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Why is the bar so empty? Turns out the bar was way less busy than we thought it was going to be. Okay, well, you can step here and make it like an accident or some kind of bar fire, I guess. Luckily, I've still got those amnesia drugs lying around. If I can get a couple of randomos off the street, drag them down here and drug them, we can make this all look like a bar fight. No. 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 One combination left to try. Freeze. I work for the CIA. You're under arrest for theft. What about my brothers? Dead. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Ah! Oh! Oh! Well, that was easy. Too easy. What do you mean? Do these people look like well-funded terrorists to you? You practically wiped them out in less than five minutes. There probably isn't even a nuclear weapon in that suitcase. Well, there's only one way to find out. He said there was one combination left. We risked our lives for that? Unbelievable. Putting aside how shitty this situation now is, what are we going to do now? Taking the mission was a success then. 
It was. We managed to snap the terrorist necks and frame them as a bar fight or accident. And nobody saw us, the submarine or the suitcase. Good to hear. Put the suitcase on a desk, I'll take care of this. <laughs> Are you fucking serious, sir? We risked our lives for gold. What are you doing, Agent? What am I doing? You're the one who risked our lives for gold. You lied to us. Stand down, Agent. No, I want to know everything. The twins weren't a terrorist organization, were they? It was a failed cloning experiment. What went wrong? The process was imperfect. The clones rebelled. Most of them were destroyed. But a few of them escaped and swore revenge. And they stole the gold to allow them to buy the weapons and equipment they'd need to exact their revenge? Yeah, and thanks to you, that'll never happen. All existence of them is now gone. Why didn't I question this earlier? All our agents are conditioned to obey orders without question. Like, no sex between agents rule. I can't believe this. Now you're gonna- Done. What are you doing? I snuck into the room while you were laughing and connected your computer to my phone, allowing me to silently access it and send a memo to the agency, revealing that me and Agent 34 perished due to wounds received during the mission, along with the gold being lost. CCTV cameras would see me coming in. We used a secret entrance with no cameras in sight. Why are you doing this? Because during an undercover mission, we were forced to have sex to maintain our cover. It broke our condition and we fell in love. I only wanted the gold to fund my activities like the anti-eco-terrorists. What? You're responsible for the anti-eco-terrorists who caused the sewage leak that forced Samantha to move and that killed my parents, aren't you? Climate change isn't real. It's just a bullshit myth made up by hippies and a pathetic excuse to reduce profits. How can you be so delusional and have so much power? It's obvious, Maxwell. He bribed and blackmailed his way into this position. He's not going to change, no matter what. What are we going to do then? I think you can guess. We're free. Let's go and live our peaceful lives. <laughs>